I'd like to start with this TI sensor tag. This is an Internet of Things device that has 10 different sensors on it. it connects into your phone via Bluetooth and can tell things like light, the temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, uh, whether or not the sensor is moving, the orientation of it, and those sorts of things. And now let's take a look at how we can introduce some of that data into Bluemix through the IBM Internet of Things Foundation. Okay, so I've taken my TI sensor tag and connected it into the IBM IoT Foundation using the sensor tag app on my phone. And now I'm using the quick start, or in other words, just a way to basically see all the data very quickly on the IBM Internet of Things Foundation. I've supplied the MAC address for my sensor tag device. And then we can see down below that we get all the raw data for that device. So if I, for example, point the sensor tag towards my window, you see the light is going up quite a bit. If I set it down on my desk, it goes down to essentially zero. Same thing with the temperature. Right now we see the ambient temperature is around 26 degrees Celsius. If I move that behind my laptop where the fan is, we can see that now it's starting to climb as the ambient temperature rises. Now all this data is really cool, but we really want to be able to use this within the scope of an application. And so the way that we can do this is through Node-RED and Bluemix. So I've created a little sample app right here, and I want to just show you how quickly we can use some of this information as part of an application. Now, I'm an avid home brewer, and one of the key characteristics of the quality of the beer that you create is temperature control. And you also want to make sure that the beer isn't exposed to light. So what I've done here is dragged in an input node from the IBM IoT Foundations, and the only thing that I needed to do was provide that same device ID, and then I can access all the data the device is spitting out in Bluemix. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Now this reports in data once every minute, so I really don't want to handle that much. I'm going to limit it to one message a minute. And then this is the one little bit of code that I have, and I'm actually going to do a decision. Basically, what's the value of the light coming in? And if it's over 10, I'm going to say it's bright. If it's less than that, I'll say it's dark. But what I really want to do is now tie this into another system, whether that would be sending me a text message using Twilio, or for this example, I'm going to go ahead and tweet out what the status is of my fermentation for all my fellow beer followers that want to know how my brewing's going. So I'm going to limit that to one a day so they're not completely inundated. And then I'll use another function node to go ahead and actually format that message. So it's going to say it's really bright in your fermentation chamber and add in a date. So to actually show this in action, I didn't actually connect these nodes, but I'll go ahead and do that. And now I'll redeploy my application. This takes just a couple seconds, and we can see if I follow my Brewing with Blue Mix Twitter handle, we haven't tweeted anything in quite some time, but if I refresh the page now, I can see that my new tweet came out. It says, it's really bright in your fermentation chamber on November 2nd. Did you leave the lid open? Hashtag homebrew. So just obviously a very quick example of how we can take data from an IoT device gather that data very quickly into Bluemix and then turn it into something cool like beer. Go to bluemix.net and you can sign up for your own free trial account for yourself.